So what's up guys, we're here once again with another reaction to a fight and today we're going to be watching one more K1 fight. It's going to be one of, if not my favorite Thailandese fighter, Thai fighter, uh, Buokau Por Pramuk against Takayuki and I don't know how to say his last name is uh, Kohiru Imaki, I believe. But this was a great fight, it was in K1 Japan, if I'm not mistaken it was K1 Japan and this was k1 max so as i said on the other video we had the heavyweight division that was k1 grand prix and then we had k1 max k1 max was an, until 155 so 155 uh, pounds or 70 kilos and this was the lighter guys i always enjoyed watching it a lot because the action was different you know a lot of speed a lot of volume and always great fights and so yeah that's that's what we're gonna enjoy now and just before i head on with this talk a little bit about this shirt so this is my 25 clean test for usada and i got this maybe a couple of years ago you know but it's it's something that i'm proud of you know i'm proud of being part of this program and having you know clean fighting i'm all up to, up for this and i believe that uh the sport should be clean we should be fighting clean so i definitely support them and you know i i enjoy what they do and i appreciate how the how the ufc takes care of this but moving on with the fight channel, ch channel, channel, baby, channel, channel, ch channel. here we had buakao against takayuki and this is an amazing fight this was the first year Buakao was in K1 and it was really different because Buakao is Muay Thai, you know, it's, it's, it's different. Muay Thai is different than kickboxing. If you see, look, his stance is much more squared up, not much movement, a lot of pressure forward, but always controlling the distance really well. And Takayuki, more of a conventional kickboxer, you know, if you can see he's on his toes, kind of moving a little bit and at the same time, Buakao is, is more of a just steady and solid stance, but at the, same, at the same time, really tricky. And right there, I remember when I watched this fight for the first time, right there, that was, and we're gonna know after that, how a mistake it was by Takayuki to capture, you know, Buakao's leg and, and sweep him because that, in Thailand, in Muay Thai, it's a little bit different. When, it, when you catch a kick and you drop your opponent or you're in a clinch and you drop your opponent, it's kind of demoralizing. You know, it's, it's for them, it's kind of you're, you're getting into their ego and that's kind of disrespect for them, especially in the first round. So when that happens, you can see Buakao is going to get up and he's not happy about it. You can see it right there on his face. He's not happy about that. And now we're going to see, you know... Uh, how Buakao fights when he's angry. So you can see, as always, traditional Muay Thai uh, style, walking forward, uh, solid stance. And you can see the front leg of Buakao is always really light right there. Look, he already starts a clinch and, and, and drops his opponent. Another, you look at that, another clinch and another takedown. And this, this is really hard because the Thai guys, they train that a lot. Low kick, drop him again. And you can see Takayuki is feeling the pressure. And it's not only the shots, because Buokao, you can see he, he hits full power and he hits to hurt his opponents. But here, he also has kind of like a mental pressure, you know, whenever, look, he's right there, he's clinching, he's dropping his opponent, and he's, he, you see, he stands right there and looks, once his opponent is on the floor, he looks into his eyes and kind of has that, that dominant attitude, and if you're not ready for that, you're going to feel that, you know, you're going to, you're, you're just going to feel that pressure, and you're going to start kind of like, little by little, you know, breaking down and, and, and not, you know, not being able to, to handle that pressure. And Buakao is really good at applying that kind of pressure. Now he starts really hurting him with a lot of low kicks. Look at that. Most of them landed. One got, he, he blocked one of them. But still, these guys have such hard shins. I mean, uh, guys like, you know, Thai guys and Buakao is no different. He has such a hard shin that if you block his kick, it's probably going to hurt you as well. And that clinch... 
that was a big thing also. When this was the first year or second year, I'm not, I'm not sure, but I think it was the first year Buokao was fighting in K1. And until this point, you could clinch just like in Muay Thai. So you could clinch and throw knees as, as many as you wanted. After Buokao went in the, into the K1, seen and show how dominant he could be and how dominant uh, Muay Thai fighters could be with that clinch and with the knees. Right one year after that, they prohibited multiple uh, knees in the clinch. So you could only do one knee. So you clinch one knee and release. So they changed the rules. And I believe one of the reasons was because of how dominant Buokao and all the Thai fighters could be if they, if they use, utilize the, the Muay Thai clinch. So right there, that was a nasty sequence of two body, two knees to the body and one big knee to the neck. That, that must have been a nasty, you know, nasty shot. And Bukal just keeps on pressuring. A lot, of, uh, a lot of pressure, but always controlling the distance. He walks forward, he never steps back, but he, he never rushes, you know, he never overcommits to a shot. He's always right at the perfect distance to throw his kicks, throw his hands. And if he gets too close, he goes to the clinch and, and works those knees. So that's the end of the first round. Right there you can see Takayuki is not enjoying uh, this fight. He is definitely worried about what's going on. He's probably feeling a lot of pain because Buokao focuses a lot of on hitting the legs, so low kicks, a lot of kicks to the body. And kicks to the body, that, that hurts a lot. But if you block it with your arm, that hurts as well. So kicks to the body, they hurt you by hitting you in the body and in the arms and those knees. You can see how much damage those knees cause. That last one right to the neck. So, I, I mean, imagine getting knee to the neck. That's, that's definitely not enjoyable. And yeah, so, so that, that, that's what Buokao was able to bring to K1 and to the kickboxing scene and, and kind of change the game, you know, change the game. Nowadays, you can see in one FC and also Glory, you know, Thai guys being able to, to kind of utilize their Muay Thai in, in this kickboxing kind of format and, and be dominant with it. So yeah, it's, it's an amazing martial art. And there, Takayuki started off really aggressive but again, we're into the clinch. Buokao throwing those nasty knees to the body. And right there, he connected a good one uh, right in this externum. And that was enough to drop Takayuki. The count was open, so that's already an extra point of advantage. And if you see, look at that. Let's see, right after the knockdown, Buokao knows that he's hurt in the body. So he starts with hard teeps, hard teeps to the body. Look at that, and keeps on going, you know, keeps on damaging that body. And that's something very characteristic also, a, a big characteristic of Thai fighters. They go for the damage, and once they see that you got damage, you're hurt, be it on the leg, on the body, or on the head with a cut, something like that, they're just gonna keep on, on pushing and, and keep on, you know, capitalizing on, on that kind of flaw that you have presented. And that was it for the fight. Uh, big knockout for Buokao. This was a quick fight. For me, from start to finish, he dominated uh, Takayuki. All that Takayuki was able to do was that first kind of takedown. You know, he held Buokao's leg in the beginning of the, of the first round and sweep the other leg. That was the only thing he did of good, and I think it was one of his biggest mistakes because that just made Buokao take this fight much more seriously and really go to kind of after revenge uh, against Takayuki. And there we could see this, this different style. You know, Muay Thai for me is, is beautiful to see. You know, I, I really think it's, it's different than kickboxing. And I enjoy kickboxing a lot, but Muay Thai, I don't know, there's, there's something uh, different to it, you know, that, that brings some beauty into this kind of fighting. And Buokao does it, you know, uh, one of the best in the world to do it. One of the guys that, that brought, you know, uh, Muay Thai into the world and, and really 
show this to everyone. So definitely uh, enjoy this fight a lot. I think that K1 is, is something that we're gonna watch a lot on this channel just because I'm a big fan. Hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Make sure you like this video, you subscribe to the channel and share this video You know, to other guys that enjoy Muay Thai, kickboxing or fighting in general. I think that you know sharing this, it's, it's really cool just to get more people into fighting and also to fighters that are beginning. Uh, for me, this made a big difference to study fights, to learn from, from other people, you know. Uh, when we start, we learn from our teachers, but we gotta go after also the knowledge that is out there. And watching fights is a big opportunity to learn and to develop your game. It worked for me. I believe it could work for a lot of fighters that are starting. So yeah, hope you're enjoying the content. Let's keep on having fun and watching some great fights.